Welcome to another episode of Grub Masters. Today, we're doing ravioli lasagna. Ravioli lasagna. I mean, I don't know how many of you go out cooking your front yard, backyard, side yard, in the woods or whatnot. Not many people make lasagna outside, but today we're going to show you how to make lasagna. And if you don't, seriously, you should. It's just good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. We're going to take a little bit of a, a twist on it. You know, most lasagna, you lay down the pasta sheet, you layer all your stuff in there. We're going to make it a little bit more simpler. You're just going to use ravioli, some meat, some sauce, some cheese. The ravioli, this ravioli has got pecorino romano, it's got parmesan, it's got a whole bunch of ricotta already in there. Get a good ravioli. Don't chintz out, don't yeah. get the 99 cent stuff that's like sludge with paste in the middle. A lot of filler. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, so we basically have a lasagna in a box. Yep. I browned off the ground beef and the sausage yesterday and put it in a Ziploc bag, so it's just ready to go. We're out camping, we want to just go, spend time with the family, friends, fire you know, all that good stuff. So we don't want to be brown and meat, maybe. Well, maybe we do, we're kind of crazy, but you know, usually you don't. So in the box, we have our ravioli. Yes. Cucina di Carla. Good, good stuff. Carla's pasta, some of the best pasta in the world. Again, nice chilled, so we're not gonna burn our hands ground beef. Two pounds, two pounds of sausage. If you can't get loose sausage, get some patties, brown them up, same thing. Same thing. All right, and we got some cheese. A little extra cheese. Some Mozzarella. And we got some just jar sauce because we're lazy. First thing first, I'm gonna lay down some tomato sauce on the bottom. This will prevent the uh, ravioli from burning. Give us a nice little layer down there. Each one of these clamshells has about a pound in there. So we're gonna put maybe uh, half a pound a layer. Um, we're using a 14 inch regular size Dutch oven today. And um, we'll try and get about four layers, John. Yeah, do about four layers. You want to have a nice presentation. You spread them out as best as you can. All right, it's coming along. Next thing, do some meat. Right out there. Just a little bit, you know? Don't have to get too crazy. We're gonna try and get some extra layers in there. Get that spread out nice. And a nice little meat layer. Now we did a test kitchen here a couple weeks ago. It was really rainy out, so uh, we wanna take the opportunity to give this a shot in advance. And uh, I think it came out fantastic. Got a couple new tips, but there's a test kitchen uh, video out there. And uh, so take a look. All right, John. What do you think? More meat. More meat. Let's put some cheese. Nice and nice. Bonus cheese. Oh yeah. Spread out nice and evenly. And basically, we're just gonna repeat this for a couple more layers. All right, we've layered this thing up. We built it up. Just a last little touch. I like to put a little bit more sauce on top here. Yeah, you don't want the top to burn because you can have the coals on the lid 
And if there's not sauce there, it'll burn up your pasta. So we yeah. put a nice generous layer of sauce on top. We've got what, probably about four layers here. Four layers, uh, almost about four pounds of uh, ravioli, evenly layered. You know, we got the layers of the meat in there. We got extra cheese. We've now got the tomato sauce on top here. Um, you just had to moosh it, right? I had to moosh it. Moosh. I like getting in there, you, you know? Gotta, you gotta good, get a good moosh. Make sure it's mooshed. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna fire up our smoker. We didn't want our, our chimney. We didn't want to do that ahead of time because it'd be smoke all over the place. You wouldn't be able to see this. So we're gonna get our, our coals rocking hot. Right. We're gonna do a ring on the bottom, ring on top. The ring, ring on. Method. Ring method. Always preach the ring method. We're baking. Yeah. Ring method is awesome. Yeah. And we think it's probably gonna take about an hour. We're gonna maintain those coals. We'll check back periodically, and uh, then we're gonna really, I, I promise, honest to God, we're gonna let this set up. Yeah. I'm gonna be like Chris. Please let me just eat it. Let me eat it. And you're gonna be like, no, we're letting it set up because we're gonna get you a great glamour shot. Yeah. Time. Little tip, just make sure you leave some room so that uh, that lid's not sitting in there. Because you're gonna add some cheese later on too. You gotta make sure you leave a little bit of room. Oh yeah, you gotta have the cheese on top. Nice you gotta top. add that cheese to finish. Johnny, this thing's been cooking a little while now. It looks fantastic. Truth be told, we actually took the lid off a little while ago. Looked a little moist. We want to let a little bit of that uh, extra moisture yeah. kind of bubble out so it helps set up at the end. Uh, let's take a look, John. Oof. Still bubbling a little bit, but it's looking oof. good. Yeah, so final step here. You got to put the chi. Got to put the chi. Get a nice little, uh, little bit of cheese on top. A little more? Yeah, as much as we have. You can never have too much cheese. I mean, I suppose if it's flowing out of the vessel, you probably have too much, but. <laughs> Trying to spread that around evenly. We'll put the top back on here. Give it, what, maybe 15 minutes or yeah, so? Yeah, 15 minutes, if that. We're gonna keep watching it. You don't wanna burn your cheese. Yeah, just get a nice brown. Nice even layer. So it was like, what, two and a half cups of cheese? About that. Now we're just gonna put the spurs to the top here. Watch yourself. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Rocket hot, we're trying to brown that cheese off. So we're gonna keep checking it every couple minutes just to make sure we don't burn, but uh, we'll check back when it's ready. Put a fork in it, this is done. I mean, that cheese is golden brown, delicious. We could smell it, it smells so good. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we want this to set up as fast as possible. I promise you we're gonna let it set up. Um, we may or may not, I don't know, I'm pretty impatient and hungry now. Yeah. So we're gonna move it off to the cold side of the table, pop the lid and just let it sit for a little while. Let's do it. Ready, John? Oh, man. Oh, God, it smells so good. Oh, that looks perfect. It's bubbling, so we're going to let this cool off. We're going to slice into it, and it's going to be amazing. It's just so hard. We let it set up for 30 minutes. I can't wait any longer. 30 it minutes. It smells so good. It's calling for me. Yeah, yeah. All right. I fully expect this to be a little soupy. If you let it set up, you will be rewarded. We're not that smart. All right, let's go. Let's try it. Boy. The first one, the first slice never comes out good. You just, you got to just do it. Woo -hoo -hoo. See that smoke coming off of there? My gosh. It's actually setting up pretty good. I can see yeah. definitely, you know, nice layers in there. Getting that first slice out is a bit of a problem, but not a problem for us. All right. Cheers. That 
That's right. Oh, that's right, Arnold. Oh, the flavor is just soaked right into that ravioli. Plenty of cheese. Yeah. No doubt there's a lot of cheese in here. And it's it's good quality cheese. I mean, it's, it's, it's hit me. Mm. It's not just like the cheese. It's, it's some robust cheese there. I really don't want to talk anymore. I just want to eat. I know, right? Meat's right on. You could probably go a pound of each, but why would you? Yeah. Two pounds seems right about right. This is so good. Mm. And easy, right? I mean, everything was in the cooler. You bring it to camp, you got your rollies, you got your meat already done up, the sauce, it's dump and go meal. Layer, 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 layer. Chi. Chi. Throw it on the, uh, the coals. Let it go for what I think it was about two hours. We weren't super paying attention to it because we were doing another episode at the same time, but I mean, you know, you stay on it probably an hour and a half. Right. And then you put your cheese on and you use your rocket hot coal broiler. Yep. Called a Dutch oven lid loaded with coals. And you got this nice crusty cheese. I mean, this is nice. So, it's a beautiful it's thing, Johnny. All right, guys, we hope we've inspired you. If you like this, please give us a share, thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Get out there and cook.